Okay, today I want to talk about why fruit is our most natural food source and why we should be eating more and more fruit and larger volume of fruit. It's the food that we are designed for, okay? Have you ever noticed <clears throat> that when people go out to eat, okay, they have a big meal, whatever it is, maybe some animal-based foods or even if it's plant-based, what are they seeking after dinner? Many times people are going for sweet desserts. Sweet desserts. Why? Because on the tip of our tongue is our sweet taste bud. And if we don't satisfy that sweet taste bud, we're going to be looking for the chocolate mousse after dinner. We're going to want those sweets. You look at a baby. Baby's crawling around or he's sitting in his high chair and the mother puts something on that table there and the baby picks it up and he puts it in his mouth. Now, if it's a piece of mango, he's going, hmm, wow, that tastes good. And then he's like, I want more of that. But let's say it was a piece of uh, cauliflower or broccoli. He might taste that and say, hmm, I'm not sure I like this. <laughs> uh, so anyway, you know, the point is <clears throat> we are designed for that. And to be optimally healthy, to really find the highest level of health, we have to eat the food that we're designed for. The fuel that we are designed for. You know, just like a, a car runs on good gasoline, right? Whatever that octane level is or whatever. Um, and you, you couldn't run a jet on car gasoline, you have to have jet fuel. What do our bodies need for the best fuel? The best fuel is going to be fruit. The reason for that is it doesn't clog us up. It gives us the sugar that all the cells in our body need. It's easy to digest, so it's not expending a lot of our energy. We have energy to do other things besides digest, you know, some greasy hamburger, you know. Now, remember, I am not, I have many friends that eat meat, okay. And, you know, if you eat it in moderation or small quantities, I should say even better, because I, I don't go by that moderation, because people, when they say moderation, they're eating way too much saturated fat. But if you had meat once a week or something, you know, it's not going to hurt you that bad. Or even twice a week, whatever. It's not going to hurt you that bad. But why eat it if it's not the most optimal? That's the way I look at things. You know, I, I could eat meat if I wanted to, but I don't want to because it's not the optimal food. Um, fruit does your body so much better. You're guaranteed easy digestion. You're guaranteed easy elimination. When I was on a high fat diet, I had trouble with bowel movements. You know, I had, you know, maybe one a day and I had to take fiber and all kinds of stuff because I had hemorrhoids. I had fissures, which are extremely painful from too much saturated fat. So once I went to a vegan diet and high, high, high fruit, no problem. Three bowel movements a day. I eat three meals a day and that's what I get. Three bowel movements a day. And every, my internal plumbing is working very well. So that is a huge plus to making fruit. Uh, one of the mainstays in your diet you know, you should be eating more and more volume of fruit. Because if you don't, 
here's typically what happens with many of my friends. They, they try a vegan diet, but they're not eating enough fruit. They're always thinking vegetables. You know, it's always vegetables. I need vegetables. And they're eating vegetables and vegetables, but they're not getting enough calories. Vegetables are great for minerals, okay, nutrient-dense food, but they're not going to give you your calorie source. Unless you're, you could eat a lot of potatoes, rice, and beans, you could do that, and that would work as well. But eat fruit, which is even better, because it's not cooked, it's got all the water, it's got all the fiber, um, and it's the highest food in vitamins on the planet. So you've got to increase that volume of fruit in your diet. If you don't do that, you're going to gravitate towards, you know, animal-based foods, some eggs or fish or chicken or meat or whatever it is. You're going to gravitate towards that because you're starving for calories. Now, fruit is kind of in the middle. You've got, you know, animal-based products are the highest foods on the planet for calories. Okay, you know, a big Whopper from Burger King, uh, it's a thousand calories, all right? Um, whereas with vegetables, you would have to eat 75 heads of lettuce a day to get your caloric needs met. And nobody can eat 75 heads of lettuce. But fruit is in the middle. It's not too high in calories. It's not too low. So you've got, you know, bananas, for instance, 100 calories per banana. So you compare that to a Burger King Whopper, which is, let's say, 1,000 calories. How many bananas do I have to eat to get 1,000 calories? I got to eat, eat 10 bananas. I've got to eat 10 to get 1,000 calories. So that may seem like, oh, man, <clears throat> there's no way. I could eat 10 bananas. My blood sugar would rise through the roof. Yes, I agree, it would rise through the roof if, and you likely are, on a high-fat diet. If you're on a high-fat diet, it does not go well with fruit. So you have to get off the high-fat diet, eat more fruit, and then if you're eating cooked food vegan, eat more potatoes and rice and beans so you can get your calories met that you're losing from those animal-based products. So, you know, I have another friend, he says to me, I, I said, what's one of your favorite things to eat? And he said, anything with marinara sauce. <laughs> and you think about it, marinara sauce. How do you make it? Tomatoes. Tomatoes are a fruit. Tomatoes can be very, very sweet. Again, you know, we're trying to satisfy that sweet tooth or that sweet taste bud on the tip of our tongue. That's what we're trying to satisfy. So why not just eat the fruit? There's so many of them out there that are so good. You know, there's bananas, there's mangoes, there's grapes, there's pineapple, there's peaches, there's plums, there's apples, pears. There, and then the tropical fruits here in Florida, sugar apple, mame sapote, sapodillas. Oh, man, they're so good. And they're living foods. So, you know, I just thought I'd put a video up about... Uh, fruit and why people need to go for it. And then I have other friends where after the dinner, <clears throat> you know, they'll say, oh, I don't like sweet things that much. I, I prefer savory things. But then after the dinner, they want the chocolate mousse cake. They want it because they're still craving the sweet taste. That's what we were designed for, and it works best for us. We get the right amount of calories. Not too many, not too little, right in the middle, but to get our calorie needs net, 
uh, to get our calorie needs met, we have to eat more volume of fruit, which is a good thing too, because I like to eat. I enjoy eating. I don't want to eat in five minutes. I don't want to wolf down a Big Mac and go, okay, I'm done. I'd rather eat a bowl of mangoes and bananas, and it may take me 20 minutes because I've got seven bananas in there and three mangoes because I enjoy the pleasure of eating all that fruit. So, you know, and don't let it fool you. And some people say, no, that's too extreme. It's, it's uh, way too much sugar, you know. Every cell in our body is fueled by simple sugars. And you're giving your body what it wants and what it needs. Now, I eat other, I eat vegetables, of course. I eat nuts and seeds, avocados. So it's not just fruit. You have to have a wide variety of vegetables and small amounts of nuts and seeds. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any questions or comments below. And uh, please subscribe to the channel if it's your first time here. I'm going to go fruit up. Adios, amigos. Have a great one. Make it a great one out there. And eat your fruit. Take care.